Welcome to class two in the Brainy Betty eCourse series. In this class, we'll learn how to create a video from your digital pictures using Microsoft Windows Movie Maker software, which is already installed on your PC. The purpose of this course is to learn how to create a movie using digital pictures in Windows Movie Maker. We'll show you how to create titles and credits, cool transitional elements, as well as any music or narration you may want to add. Movies and videos are not just for capturing family memories. They can be used for creating compelling visual imagery for business, organizations, schools, and more. They can be used to teach concepts, and they are more interesting than text alone or pictures alone. Let's get started. Windows Movie Maker is a program that is already installed on your PC if you have XP or Windows Vista. You can find Windows Movie Maker by going to the Start button at the bottom left of your computer screen and choosing Programs, and in the case of XP, probably Accessories. In Vista, it shows up in the main list as the picture on this slide shows. We'll focus on the three main areas of the program one by one. Area 1 contains quick commands. Area 2 is where you'll be working with your files. And Area 3 is where you will bring it all together as a video. Area 4, of course, is where you will preview your results. Area 1, the task list, contains commands in three broad categories, import, edit, and publish. The very first thing you'll do here is to import the photos you'll be working with. For the purpose of this course, we'll be using a sample set of pictures, but you may want to plan before you import. For example, if you're talking in your video about a specific topic, you want to make sure that all of your pictures are relevant to that topic and have a flow. You can import pictures, video, and also audio in the import category. We'll talk about audio in a few minutes. The second category of the task list is edit. Here you can add titles and credits to your video, add effects, and also transitions. As a side note, Windows Movie Maker version 2 has lots of transition and effects in the Vista system. Finally, in the bottom area of this menu, you can publish your video to a CD, to the computer email, and more. I have chosen to import some pictures from my computer, an audio file as well as some video that I had on my computer here. You can see that video files have kind of a film strip around them and music files show up with a note. These are the items I will use to produce my final video. It's very easy to create the timeline for your video. You can drag and drop pictures, video, and audio right into the timeline in the order you want them to show up. Take note of the numbers right above your media content. This is the time in seconds and will indicate to you how long something will be displayed. You can extend the length of time or reduce it for any picture or any other item by simply click one end of the item and dragging it to the right or to the left. In this specific instance, I have added one audio file, music, to the project. However, you can also create multiple audio files and add them to the project. Suppose you were doing a cooking video, for example, and for each digital picture you wanted to explain what the picture was showing, some part of the recipe. You could record a series of audio files and import them all and add them in order to your project as well. The possibilities are endless. Just play around with the program and you'll see. There are all kinds of transitions you can create in between photos and or photos and video content. The principle is the same though. You drag and drop your desired transition in between two pictures and they will show up in the timeline as evidenced by the circles on this slide. Use the titles and credits command on the area one taskbar to add the appropriate title and credits to your video. You'll have lots of options here as well, including defining the type, size and color of fonts you want, and the transitions for titles and credits. Finally, before publishing the movie, you'll want to test it and make sure everything is exactly how you want it to be. Simply use the play, rewind, and forward buttons to do that on the player in area 4 of the program. If something needs to be changed, remember, just drag and drop and move it. You can trim down times by clicking on the item itself whether it's a picture, video, or audio file, and pulling it to the right for more time or left for less time. One really cool tip to remember, you can even fade out the music and fade it into your video or adjust the volume level. Just right click on the audio file and choose those commands. That way you'll get a really polished product in the end. Your final step is to actually publish the movie. 
I have chosen in this example to publish it to my computer so that I can upload it to the internet later. While most of us will choose a default, which is the best quality playback for my computer option here, there are many other settings on this screen you can specify, such as widescreen or DVD quality, for example. Take note of the estimated file sizes and disk space that is shown. It will let you know if you have enough space on your system for the movie you are publishing. That's it. You've graduated this course and become a director and producer of your own movies. Now you can upload to the internet and share with others your creativity. Our sister site, Intel Podcast, is a family-friendly site. We welcome you to open a free account there and upload your files. You can keep them private if you'd like and just share them with friends and family, or you can post them to the public channels.